Hey everybody, it's Birdie once again with a third mechanics video tutorial and today we're going to be covering something which I probably should have done in the second video as opposed to the third but um, basically we're going to be covering we're going to be covering hotkeys, just ordinary hotkeys, not the screen hotkeys which are these ones here but we're going to be covering just ordinary unit hotkeys and as well as um, basically shift, control and alt and what these things can do for you in the game. So the absolute first thing you need to know is that this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 10, 10, 9, 0 here are your unit hotkeys and you can put units and or one building onto these hotkeys and when you press it it will reselect that unit. As an example here I have a marine here, his name is Bob. And Bob is going to be put onto my number one hockey. So I hold down control and press one. And for those of you who know all this stuff, like uh, this is just sort of in case there's absolute newbies out there who don't know this stuff. And I will go into some more interesting stuff later on, like shifting and uh, alting and all that sort of thing. Anyway, so you hold down control and press 1. So now, if I have these guys selected and I press 1, I reselect Bob again. See? 1, and I reselect Bob. 1, and I reselect Bob. And I continue doing this. Another thing is that if I'm over here on the map looking at these overlords, and then I double tap 1, I will go back centered on top of my marine game called Bob. Okay, so that's the absolute basics. And you can do them on 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and you can, each one of these will get you back to them. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. Right. So, the next thing is the other method that you can use control for, which is selecting all the units of the same type on the screen. So, normally you do double click to select that but um, to select just these marines and only marines that are on the screen but a faster way of doing that is holding down control and clicking them so if I hold down control and click these two medics it selects both of them same with hydralis, same with the marines so that's um, another method that you can use hold, uh, control for now the the other main use that you'd use control for is if you have a bunch of units selected and let's say you wanted to you can actually see the hot the um, tooltip there, if you press control and click on the wireframe there, it will select from that selection units of that type. So in this case I hit the hydralis, it will only select the hydralis out of that group. So I could have units selected from all over the map, and then it will still only select, like let's say I go for the medics, it will select that medic there and those two medics there, only of that type, just by holding down control and clicking on the wireframe. These are the wireframes down here. And I could continue to do that. Okay, so that's pretty much the control key covered for the most part. Now here's uh, another thing which many of you may not know is, let's say we have this guy on group 1, so we can center on him here, and we're over here, if we press alt 1, centers on him as well, so that's a slightly faster way than double tapping, in theory. Now I don't actually use this almost ever because um, it's difficult to use for say 5, 6, 7, 8 and so on, you can pretty much only use it for 1, 2, 3 unless you've got like super awesome fingers, which I don't, but um, it is possible to use if you run one turn, it's worth knowing about in some situations. Now the other extremely useful key on of, out of these hotkeys is this shift key here and we're going to explain that. So let's say, let's say I want to select, I think I showed an example of this in one of my other videos but I'll do it again in a bit more detail just for the shift selecting. So if I have like this one lurker selected and I hold down shift and I click one medic or one marine then it will add that to my current selection which is quite cool because I can pick out individual units that I want and I just by clicking on them like this of course we're clicking on the units and then I can hold down control and press 1 and now that's my 1 key now just something to note about um, the way that double tapping works to center your screen on the units so if I have half of the group here and I have the other half over here Alright, and I'm saying one more over there as well. So I've got all of them selected using my one hotkey. I press one to select it. Now if I press Alt one, I go to the middle of it. So, and same if you double tap one. So that sends you to the middle of it. And um, that's basically how that works. Now let's just have a quick test and see if I have most of them over here and I have Bob still left over here. What will happen when I press double tap one? Double tap one and it goes to the average positions of all of them. So it will focus on most of them. Now that's useful is because if you have an overlord selected, and let's say that this was like a group of needlesk that you had, and if you're like here and this is a like group and you're microing your mutilisk and you want to run back to your mutilisk, you double tap it and you get pretty close to them immediately just because it's working off the average location 
instead of working off the center location. So if I had only one unit selected here, one unit selected there, and then I press one, it goes into those two units. Add a bunch more, and it gets a lot closer to these larger group Where units here. Anyway, that's the sort of minor aside. So there's more useful things you can use shift for, uh, other than just selecting out these units here. Um, one of them is with the wireframe. So if you press shift and click, you will deselect that unit. So I deselect the medics like this, and I've got marines on that. Control click to select those medics, and I've got those. So I've got one, two, one, two, one, two. So I can go stim, A move, and then these can just like A in with them and I would be marines and follow them in. And I can stim and run in. Oh yeah, stim, run in. Oh, oh, stim, stim, stim. So that's basically how that works. Um, now, if you hold down, let's say we had all of these selected, and we hold down shift and control and press the medics, it will still only deselect one. That's uh, something to uh, be aware of. And you can't deselect. Um, hold up. Yeah, that's that's pretty much that. Yeah, so you can't deselect all of them at once. You have to manually deselect by going like that. Now, the other useful thing, that's right, the other useful thing about shift is let's say I had this group of marines here, that's in group one, so it's got group two is these medics and group one is these marines. And where's another couple of marines? I've seen these guys over here. Come back, medics. Okay, so I have these marines here, and then these marines here, I want to add them to this control group one here, and these medics here, I want to add them to control group two. Okay, so how do I do that? Uh, if I have, uh, if I just select these two and I hold down shift and I press one and I press one again, they are now added to that control group. So you use shift one to add it to the control group, control one to create that control group. Now there is another way of doing this with just control is you have these guys already selected, hold down shift and grab these units and then just hold down control one. But the faster way is to select these units and then press shift one. So let's do that with these medics here as we control click to select all of the medics on the screen and then we go shift 2 and we've added the medics to that control group and now they can all operate as a good group which is lots of fun now if we have lurker eggs and we had this is group 3 and we have these lurker eggs over here we can actually shift add them to that there so I had did just what I did there was shift 3 and I added the lurker eggs to um, to the group. and you can do that even while they are still lurker eggs. It's worth noting that you can also burrow um, using you while the lurkers are selected with the eggs. However, uh, you can't. Uh, that's pretty, yeah, that's pretty much that. So that's pretty much all that this tutorial has to cover, I believe. Oh yes, right. The other thing you can use it for is let's say we have these factory selections. Um, oh, let's do the barracks. Okay, so we got the barracks selected, and you'd probably actually have them on like five, six, and seven. All right, so you got five, six, seven. One you, when you're at the start of the game, while you're doing your micro. So let's grab these uh, group one, group two, group three. So you're doing this fancy micro, and the lurkers are burrowing, and the marines are swimming, and all these guys are going here. And, oh, and then all the stuff's happening. And then you can go back to your macro by hitting 5M, 6M, 7M. So you can use these hotkeys here to get your macro. Another thing you can do is you can re-rally using the hotkeys. So you go 5 right click, 2, 6 right click, 7 right click. And you have all of them uh, rally to that point. So you can go 5, 6, 7, 5, 6, 7, 5, 6, 7, like that. You can do that and do your macro while you macro. Like that, and you're just doing all this sort of thing, and you go 5, 6, 7, boom, 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 boom. And that's pretty much uh, all this video has to cover. Thank you for watching, and press subscribe or something like that, and like, and all that sort of thing. Feel free to leave a comment, I will get back to you, and um, I'll have some more, more in depth tutorials later on. So, this was just sort of a real basic video, just covering the basics of these hockeys. Um, oh, one final thing which I may as well cover is Shift Tab. So uh, if I press shift tab then this this color here on the mini map will change to red this is my opponent here but it stays blue on the actual screen if I press it again he will turn to red I'll turn to teal and if I press it again it goes back to normal so red blue 
red or blue, press it again, he turns to red. Now the reason this is useful is because if he's red on the minimap, it means he's a lot more noticeable compared to say brown, so brown is quite undistinct and hard to see. So I do recommend that you use this in most games, just make it a habit at the start of the game, you press shift tab, just to get this here being um, on the minimap as red, so it's more noticeable when he has drops and that sort of thing. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time, bye.